Hello, I am Seth, and behind the camera is Tobias. We're from Nelson Tiny Houses. However, today we're in my not-so-tiny house. Not so big, not so tiny. And we are here to share with you our composting toilet system that we have in our house. We often put these toilet systems in the tiny houses we build. And so I really wanted to show uh, how our system works. Plus, uh, when I was doing this system about four years ago when I was building it, I really couldn't find any good videos on YouTube to uh, help guide me, so I had to make some stuff up as I went. Uh, most of it is, is working like a charm. Uh, it's all very simple. There's nothing complicated about it at all, and uh, usually those solutions are seem to be the best ones. Uh, so with no further ado, let's... Uh, Go visit the toilet room. It's behind this very tall, skinny door. Um, you'll see why it's tall and skinny in a minute. Uh, the, the, whole, the whole room is about four feet by four feet. And when you walk up in here, it's, you, you actually take quite a big step, which is why that door is so long. Uh, you do that so that you can fit a, a full Rubbermaid trash can underneath the, the pooing department. You could potentially make this room a little bit smaller, but uh, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty tight in here. I don't, I don't think you could get away with uh, making it too much smaller. In the tiny houses, obviously we don't use two toilets. Um, there, there is a divider you can buy to install in one toilet that separates the pee. Uh, believe it or not, it's the, the pee that causes a lot of the problems. So in this situation, the pee goes into our gray water system. And to, to create the pee toilet, I just use an undermount sink, which costs about 30 bucks and I think I even got this toilet seat used for like five bucks and then there's this old copper valve that flushes the uh, the pee toilet uh, you can pee in the, the pooping one you definitely don't want to poo in the peeing one uh, it's only happened once there was a three-year-old girl who <laughs> didn't quite uh, understand the whole system uh, but uh, we try to just poo in the the pooper one because if you keep it dry it just makes everything uh, a lot easier um, this is what we use to put on our, our uh, poo after we're done it's sawdust from uh, a local mill and there are there are a couple of woods that you don't want to use cedar being um, one that you definitely don't want to use. Also any kind of walnut you don't want to use. Um, cedar just doesn't break down and the walnut's quite poisonous from what I understand. This is all fir sawdust. Um, and it's not really used so much for the smell because the, the, the key to this whole system working without any smell is, is inside the compartment is a little inline duct fan which you can get at the hardware store for 35 bucks or so. I've been told it uses about the same energy as like a 30 or 40 watt light bulb, and we just leave it running all the time. And it, uh, yeah, it takes every bit of smell from this sealed compartment below out of the house. Uh, the sawdust we put on it is, is Partly just a visual, so the person who comes next doesn't have to see uh, what's been done in there. And then also, the, the more sawdust you use, the better when it comes to emptying it, and also when it comes to the compost actually breaking down. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how I make what my four-year-old calls the poo-poo nest, and uh, we'll do that outside. Okay, here we are on the back deck. Uh, 
we've uh, we've emptied the the bucket into the compost bin, and now we have a, an empty bucket to to make our poo poo nest in. Uh, the The bin that we emptied it in is just four pallets nailed together. Uh, it's more or less four feet by four feet by four feet. And in the four years that my wife and I and children have been using this system, we haven't even filled it up once. So it's, it really doesn't take up a lot of space in your backyard if that's something that you're worried about. And if you're concerned about smell also, it really, it, it, it doesn't smell. If you add enough um, straw and sawdust and, and other brown matter to it and keep it airy, uh, it, yeah, it doesn't smell at all. So. Now I'll show you uh, how we make the, the poo poo nest in the bucket before we slide it back under the toilet. Uh, I usually use some sort of sawdust. It could be, this could be thicker stuff like um, planer shavings, um, just about anything. And I dump that in first and that's just to soak up any liquid, any pee that gets down there. Um, I usually put a bit more than that. but. You can put however much you want. And then the next thing, the, the crucial thing is straw or hay. In this case, it's alfalfa hay. And, and this is used to kind of line the bucket so that when you go to empty it in the bin, everything just falls right out. And it makes it, makes it a very clean procedure. Uh, so you're basically just making a little nest in there. Um, Again, it's, its sole purpose is to make it so you, you don't have to clean the bucket very often. I think we went our first year or two, I didn't clean the bucket once. Just because uh, there wasn't anybody peeing in it and it all just dumped out really easy. Uh, when it comes to the, the composting part, it'd be a good, good idea probably to check out a humanure book. Because they really go into the, the science of it all. Uh, I, I've just used some things on the that system that I use on the the compost system that we have for our garden which is basically well like I said before you want to keep it really airy you want to add a lot of brown uh, I, I do add some nitrogen this is alfalfa meal uh, it's it's really high in nitrogen and every once in a while I'll sprinkle that on and it seems to heat it up and and keep things cooking in there. And I also add ash from the fire. And like I said, it's it's been composting great. So obviously I'm a really big fan of composting toilets. I think more people should do it. Uh, it's a great way to be forced to deal with your own crap. And once, you, once you're dealing with it, you realize that it's really not that bad. And uh, yeah. I, I, I hope if, if you're thinking about it and, and you're a little bit worried, I hope that we've uh, helped settle your uh, concerns a bit. And uh, check back for more Nelson Tiny House videos soon. Thanks for watching.